Real quick, I should be live right now giving away this bundle absolutely free as well as battle pass giveaways both on this YouTube channel and my Twitch, so check it out down below. All right, we're gonna be looking at the v Valiant Hero Bundle, 7100 VP. It's been a little while since we got a flat 7100 VP, but we're gonna look through the entire bundle and kind of review it. And I'm not gonna lie, I am liking this bundle to an extent. Let me get to it, let me get to it. Okay, so first of all, this is the fully upgraded default. It's kind of a red and black variant. The second variant is like an inverse it's like kind of like the default but the colors are moved around you know what i mean and then the third variant which i really like is a light purplish blue hue and it looks fantastic but then the fourth variant is still a blue like kind of a midnight dark blue so you know if you kind of gotta like red and blue to like the entire variant spectrum luckily they're like my two favorite colors so Pretty simple, I love all variants. I love all the variants here, but I'm not oblivious to the fact that this isn't too wide of a spectrum, and I think you're really gonna have to like the current variants and look of these guns. But this is the Ghost, and, and we're gonna look at the finishers. The finishers do change up. Sound and kill banner is fantastic. So for example, if that's the red, then this would be the blue, and you'll see that it changes. Looking good. It's looking good. I like it. I like it a lot. And for the midnight, it'd be darker. Now, the reason I skipped the second is because it looks so much like the first. They're both reds. <laughs> I don't even know if there's a difference. This one, though, is darker. It's, like, substantially darker. Yep. I like the midnight a lot. I like the midnight a lot. Now, when it comes to the ghost animations, I actually haven't seen them yet. So, let's hover over level 3 and have them show it off to us. The clouds on the side are really cool. Oh, when you shoot, the clouds stop moving. When you reload, wait, the clouds have different speeds. Oh, the reload looks nice. The barrel moves in and out. Holy shit, that looks clean. The ghost even sounds clean. All right, ghost, W. Next, we gotta go, <laughs> the Aries. Is this, wait, it didn't switch the Aries. There we go, the Aries, all right. The Aries is my least favorite based off when I looked at it for a bit. I love the extended clouds on a longer barrel gun and the default of the Aries looks pretty good. The red, something about the Aries, maybe it's like this section here, this midsection, feels plain. I'm not sure why. This midsection kind of feels plain across the variants to me. The purple looks good-ish. Like, I like the back and front of the gun, but the midsection's just missing something. There we go. So that's that in-game. All right, we're going to move on to the Vandal. I'm going to show the Aries in-game at the end here. This is the Vandal pullout. Looks great. It looks great. I actually really like the Vandal pullout. I like the sound as well. I like the entire animation. Look at that reload. It's got a special effect going on with the hand. The scope looks pretty and clean. Oh my goodness, Riot. Good work. Very good work. Very good work. This is the red variant for the Vandal. This is the uh, blue, hueish purple variant for the Vandal. Also looks amazing. My goodness. Goodness, and then this is my favorite dude. I'm really liking the midnight. I'm really liking the midnight a lot and this thing I, Okay, I'm gonna buy this the bundle 7100 VP, so it's not cheap and I kind of need the bag So a uh, little segue to the sponsor. Yep This video is sponsored by Valorant tracker a free-to-use software that just overloads you with so much information You can sort by your kills KD deaths and everything you can imagine and get a nice little chart in order to use that information and improve your performance in game. I use Valorant Tracker exactly like that all the time. I can organize by map, agent, or even gun to see how many kills and the headshot percentage I have and hopefully improve over time. I've been trying to improve on my ghost, hence that clip. Also, when you're an agent select, if you're hovering an agent, let's say cypher or chamber, I can see in the last 30 days the global average of 49% win rate and my abysmal average of only 25%. And yes, it doesn't end there. Once you're in the game itself, you have a nice little overlay that lets you know all the statistics of both your allies and your enemies to see exactly what rank they are. And if you hold tab, you get a nice little UI at the bottom just to give you even more information. And yes, Balance Tracker is absolutely free, so download it using the link below. All right, welcome back. We're at the operator now, and I think the op looks very clean because the barrel is supposed to be the staff for all of them, and it just showcases it on the op so well. This is the op in the default. Here's the op in the reddish uh, hue. Here's the op in the purple bluish hue. Again, very clean. And the midnight, my favorite. I know, go figure, go figure. In game, 
it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. If we're lucky, it'll show us the animation. Yeah, look at that bullet, bro. Dude, dude's just spawning it. Dude's just spawning the staff as the barrel. Yep, that's nice. Let's see the reload. Boom. Boom, dude. Boom. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. This bundle's looking like a cop, not gonna lie. This bundle's looking like a cop. Fantastic, fantastic. I really can't complain. I can't complain. We've also got the uh, Valiant Hero Buddy, the Valiant Hero Card, the Valiant Hero Spray, which by the way, a fantastic spray. I, I rarely use bundle sprays, but this one's very nice. And then we got the staff, the star of the show. This one I think some people might even buy on its own. So this is the default staff. Here's the red staff with the black as the center, which looks very nice. This is the purple staff. And of course, we're going to look at them in game fully, all of them for this one. Not like the guns where it's okay to speed run. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, let's start with the default. Let's start with the default, shall we? My dude, the pullout is beautiful. Yeah, thing is, we haven't had anything like this. This makes it a completely unique bundle because of that. A comp. Dude, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's actually so good. Let's go. Oh, it's continuous with me music in the background. It doesn't end. You can just keep spinning it. Oh, the music picks up. Okay. Okay, we jamming now. We jamming. That is amazing. That is amazing. This is the red variant. A lot more red, but the, with the way it swings around and the way you hold it, it's hard to really see the difference between the two. This is the blue. Very nice. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. I like this a lot. Midnight. Yes, sir. Okay. Is this a cop or a drop? The thing about how Riot does things, right? Like, let me get to the spin here before I tab out. This this, this thing costs 4350 and it's the highlight of the bundle. That's the truth. I think the rest of the bundle is solid enough to carry it to the point where just paying out the bundle 7100 is worth the price. But the thing is, if you only like the knife, it's kind of still crazy to pay 4350 just for the knife. I see this bundle in two ways. If you like the entire bundle a lot, just pay 7100 If you're not entirely sure, you like the theme, but you're not you know, you want a piece of this bundle, probably cop the Vandal. I, I would say the Vandal is fantastic and 1775 is good. You know what I mean? Just the melee is hard sell though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If you hate everything and you only want the melee, okay, don't buy the bundle for the sake of buying the bundle. It still costs more, but it's expensive. It's extremely expensive. Hopefully the, there we go. The Aries loaded in just to showcase that real quick. Now you should see, you should check out my Twitch. I could still be live. If I am live, you can win this bundle for, for free, completely free. And I'm also giving away battle passes, so check it out. The Ares animation here looks fantastic. It's loud and burly, but the, the gun noise does sound good. The gun noise does generally sound good. Overall, Valiant Hero, is it a cop or a drop? Sounding like WestJet a little bit here. It's a cop. It's good. It's good. I like it. I think I'm going to be getting it.